the eutrophication we are witnessing today is because of human activities. Agriculture is simply the biggest single source of nutrients to the Baltic Sea. It's not only a question about farming, actually. It's a question of the wider food system. And our food system currently is unsustainable. Eutrophication essentially is excess nutrients in a body of water. There is always some loading coming from agriculture to water courses because they use nutrients in field cultivation. Eutrophication is changing the composition and abundance of, of phytoplankton and very typical consequence of eutrophication is an increase of blue-green algal blooms. Part of these algae are toxic and because they're toxic they prevent swimming and recreational activities in the sea. The sea ecosystem changes and this threatens the life, for example, of some valuable fish species. The more we have dead algae in the sea settling down to the sea floor, the more they are affecting oxygen adversely. We are now having these large dead areas in the bottom of the Baltic Sea, which again release nutrients from the bottom. So we are in a vicious circle. We need to reduce the amount of nutrient runoff into the waterways, and we can do that in different ways. We have managed to reduce nutrient load from municipal and industrial sources a lot during these last 15 years. But today, the major cause of eutrophication in the Baltic Sea region is agriculture and farming. Sustainable farming can definitely help. There is a lot that farmers can do to reduce the runoff from, from their farm. On a farm, I want to bind so much uh, organic material in, in the soil as possible. So uh, I don't plow anymore, but uh, I mix the organic matter in the soil. So the structure is solid. It keeps the nitrogen in the soil so that it, it don't go away with the water. We want to farm in a good way, and it's uh, also quite an economic way to work. It's not only on the farmers to fix this issue. We also need to work on consumption. The communication between uh, farmers and customers is important. Most of the customers are looking for how the raw materials are produced. So it's my benefit that I can tell them that uh, they are produced in a sustainable way. We wanted to provide consumers with something which enables them to understand their own impact on eutrophication. And because of this, we now have this calculator that you can use to calculate your own nutrient footprints to the Baltic Sea. The easiest way to reduce your nutrient footprint is to switch from meat and dairy products to vegetables and sustainably caught Baltic Sea fish. We have launched the WWF Meat Guides in both Finland and in Sweden to guide people towards having less and better meat. Farmers produce what is demanded and if the consumer uh, decreases their consumption of meat, that uh, will finally result in, in decrease of meat production. I'm very optimistic because if we keep on with the same impact-oriented approach in the whole Baltic Sea, I think we can really uh, achieve a lot.